help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org. Link in the description. So we all would like to improve. Every one of us wants to improve ourselves. We want to change for the better, don't we? There are two main ways of changing. One is to change instantly. Take a look at Iyad Al Qadi Iyad, Rahimahullah. It's reported that he used to engage, he himself says, he used to engage in little stealing and pinching and robbery. And one day he decided, let me go and pray. So as he entered the masjid, he heard the verses. أَلَمْ يَأْنِ لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَن تَخْشَعَ قُلُوبُهُمْ لِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ وَمَا نَزَلَ مِنَ الْحَقِّ وَلَا يَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِ فَطَالَ عَلَيْهِمُ الْأَمَدُ فَقَسَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَكَثِيرٌ مِنْهُمْ فَاسِقُونَ beautiful verse where Allah is explaining how important it is for people to change has the time not come for those who are believers for their hearts to be softened towards the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has that time not come question and then Allah continues to say don't be like those who forgot Allah who left it for a while until their hearts became hard. When I want to change and I tell myself, tomorrow I will change. That's already giving shaitan so many hours to play on our minds. By the time tomorrow comes, we'll say one more day. When that one day passes, we say, okay, next week. Then we'll say, I'm only 16. It's called sweet 16. When I get a bit sour or stale, then I might turn. May Allah protect us. Brothers and sisters, you are as sweet as you are, even if you're 40, subhanallah. So we need to know this and we need to remember, shaitan makes us wait. Just hang on, we'll change just now. This man says, as soon as he heard the verse, he began to cry and he promised Allah, never again will I go back to my ways, never again. Not at all. Imagine this was such a beautiful turning point and I'm sure from amongst us there are those who've turned by one verse one lecture one reminder one thing that happened in our lives we became better people sometimes it's the death of someone sometimes it's sickness sometimes it's an accident sometimes it's failure and sometimes it is success that makes us turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so alhamdulillah we ask Allah to make us from those who can turn to him but there is another way of turning gently change one by one things in your life and improve yourself as the days pass and this is how i started the talk as the days go by you're changing one after the other and every day you're so happy you look back and you say i moved one inch mashallah wallahi before you know it you'll have moved a mile and before you know it you'll cross the continents and before you know it you get into the akhirah in a way that your bridge to paradise is made and built subhanallah May Allah grant that to us. So I want to today concentrate on the second type of change. The first one is there. Which I hope it has happened to us. And I hope even if the major change has come, we all believe that we still need to improve. None of us, not a single one of us can say, not a single one of us can say that now I'm okay. I'm enough. Whatever I've got to is okay. I'm a big buzurug. You know, I'm a big pious saint. And that's it. Now I can just look at everyone else and instruct them and dish out. No, if that's the case, shaitan's got hold of us. We need to understand every one of us. Every one of us needs to improve from the level you're on. And this is why I've given the example in the past. And I want to say it again. Some people have a spiritual BMW. Sorry, you know, when I said Merc the last time people thought that that was the car I liked. So I need to say BMW. Not to say I like the car. Wow. It's just a vehicle. Some of them are nice, mind you. So what happens is some people are on a spiritual BMW motoring down the highway, spiritual highway. MashaAllah, be focused. Make dua, you get to your destination as quick. Some people, no. They're in this little vehicle, 1960. Now it's 
become quite fancy, this little Mini Cooper. I think BMW owns it, to be honest with you. Yes, they bought it over. Wow, we know quite a bit, mashallah. So they're in this little car and they're tagging along slowly, slowly. The one who wins is the one who's dedicated and focused. Because if you're in a BMW cruising at 100 miles an hour, for example, and you lose focus for a split moment because of your mobile phone or anything else, you may spin the vehicle and that's the end of your journey. You'll have to have a huge change before you can actually get back on the path. Whereas if you're moving slowly but surely with a vehicle that might be slower, but you're dedicated, no distractions, and you focused every day covering so many miles, you will finish your journey certainly by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It requires focus and dedication. May Allah grant it to us. So now I'd like to remind myself, I need a reminder, I'm a human being and yourselves. If I want to change, what's a good way of starting? Obviously we say here and now. Yes, that's right. The intention needs to come here and now. Bad habits need to be flicked off. The very bad habits completely eradicated. No space for them. But sometimes people do not provide us with practical solutions. I live a life. I've got to go to work. I see this. I, this happens to me. That happens to me. So how do I go about it? Do you know how to start off? One of the most important things, sleep on time. Wow. Did you know that? One of the most important things when you want to change your life is to sleep on time. Wow, everyone is quiet because we're in the UK and the sun only sets after nine o'clock. Wow, see, sleep on time. If you sleep on time, you will get up fresh early morning in time for what you are supposed to get up for. And what is that? What is that? What is that? Some are saying work. Some are saying Fajr. Some are saying Tahajjud. Wow. I didn't hear anyone say breakfast. <laughs> when the eye opens, what's the first thing you should do? You want to change your life? Relate the opening of your eye to the giver of that life. Alhamdulillah alladhi ahyana. Wow, first words came out of my mouth. This is a change. The change starts with this consciousness of Allah. That's how it starts. So one might say, okay, you know what? I'm changing from today. I'm growing my beard. I'm changing from today. I'm covering myself fully, top to bottom. Good change. But if you're not conscious of the maker with that beard, you will still insult. With the good dressing, you will still insult. But when you're conscious of the maker, it's a holistic approach to the correction. This is why we say as soon as your eye opens, first thing, tomorrow morning, remember this, you set your clock. As soon as it rings, I hope you set a clock that rings. Subhanallah. At the right time, neither the breakfast nor the work. Inshallah, at least for the Fajr. Soon as the eye opens, what are you going to say? All praise is due to he who gave me this life. Alhamdulillah, alladhi ahiyana. All praise is due to he. To Allah who has given us this life after he had taken it away. You know the description of sleep. If you start your day with that dua, good news to you. What is to follow will be far more spiritual. It will be far more rightly guided. Your day has started on the right side. MashaAllah. And then you get up. I'm sure you've seen the clip where I spoke about lifting that blanket up. You know, it makes you strong. When I was coming here, one of my relatives was telling me about a six pack, you know, boasting. I said, look, brother, normally the airlines that I travel on, they allow one big pack. So I don't waste my time. <laughs> Allahu Akbar, six pack. Wow. You can have a six pack. It won't help you. If you have that laziness in you, it's not going to let your blanket be lifted off with your strength. It requires the inner strength, even if you have one big pack, mashallah. And I'm not promoting that because it's very unhealthy. So brothers and sisters, are we ready? Inshallah, we start off, we get to bed early, get up in the morning. These are practical lessons. You know, one might think oh, I came all the way to listen to how to get up in the morning. Wallahi, it's a fact. Yes, you did. You did. And if you practice upon it, you will see the benefit of it. Believe me, the problem with us, it's very easy to tell. Please don't do it to me. If you know my mobile phone number, do not do what I'm about to say to me. Okay? 
You can check when last they were online, WhatsApp. Whoa, this guy tells us to sleep early. Look at him. Two in the morning. It's not me. It's automatic. Allah make it easy. Why do we get caught with our mobile phones at night such that we sleep late, we get up groggy, we've missed our salah. You know what happens when you've missed your fajr? Then one narration says shaitan pees in your ears. So what comes out, that yellow piece that comes out is not apricot jam, nor is it wax. It's actually pee. Astaghfirullah. Allah protect us. It's a narration. You didn't get up for your salah. You better clean your ears. It's a fact of life. May Allah protect us all, really. So it's important we get up for salah to avoid the ear being used. As a we see, it's a fact. It's a fact. So if we've missed it, we're groggy because we slept late. We couldn't put our phone on flight mode. Just put it on flight mode. Go to bed. Believe me. Why? You fly out into dreamland. Beautiful dreams, mashallah. The minute you leave it on, every little while, beep, beep. Put it back. Little one, did it? Put it back. What sleep? What dreams? What are you going to have? Subhanallah. May Allah protect us. So it's a practical solution. You need to be disciplined, and so do I. May Allah protect us. May He grant us that discipline. My beloved brothers and sisters, if you want to be disciplined, then go to bed early. Wake up early. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses the early morning. Because Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless the early mornings of the ummah. So wake up early no matter what. And according to science, it's good for health when you go to bed early and when you wake up early from the bed. And you yourself, you'll see that when you start working early in the day, then you'll feel more refreshed, more rejuvenated you will see barakah in, throughout your whole day. You will work more. You will finish your work or you will become more efficient in the morning, in the early morning than in the late in the day. So try to wake up early, no matter what. Wake up for Fajr and after Fajr don't sleep. Better work. And you will see in short period of time, you will finish more work. And if you want to change, then you have to Take the little steps, take the baby steps, change one thing at a time and in long time you'll see that inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will change your lifestyle, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you better opportunities, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make you successful but if you don't work hard, if you are not disciplined, if you are not waking up early, if you are going to sleep late in and then if you are not doing anything productive, then it will not help you in any way. In long term, it will destroy you. It will make you stressed. It will make you depressed. So keep on working. Keep on working hard. And discipline your life. No matter what, do your hard work. Give effort. And then you will see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do the rest for you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will shower mercy in your life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make you successful and you will achieve big. Always dream big but start small. But continuously work hard. There is no shortcut. Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org. Link in the description.